Here now, the rest of our interview with Speaker of the House Paul Ryan. Here's the fun part. So, as you know, we're, we're 47 days into the Trump administration, and really nothing's gone through the Congress. At this point, during the Obama administration eight years ago, they passed all oh, kinds of stuff. I disagree with that. I disagree with that. We've, what are the big pieces of legislation that the, have moved through the Congress? So, so the reason, and we have a 200-day plan, and we're right on schedule with it. No, but right, two I'm just saying, compared to Obama, I'm, I'm getting who got there. big just pieces on a done. Okay. So, so the first two months, we had this tool called the Congressional Review Act, which is time sensitive. You can only use it for so long. And what we're using is we're going back and getting Obama era regulations and repealing those regulations, sending that bill to the Senate. We've done about 15 here in the House, like the coal one. Remember the one where Donald uh, Trump did that bill signing with the coal workers? That was one of these instances where we took an Obama regulation, we said we're rescinding it. They can't filibuster that in the Senate. But we only have 60 days to use this tool. So we consume the first two months going after Obama regulations that are job-killing regulations because they can't filibuster that. Then we're moving to Obamacare, which is where we are right now. But how many, how exactly many pieces of legislation have been signed by the president and it's a law? Well, the Senate, here, so here's, these are really good questions. These are very good questions. Oh, yeah, we got a few through. I went to one of the bill signings myself. The one with the coal workers is one of these cases. So we've got the Senate now. They have to approve Donald Trump's cabinet. Okay. They have to put 1,200 people through the Senate to populate the Trump government. And Chuck Schumer can burn up to 30 hours per person. Right, I'm they're, aware. They're, and, so, and so what we're doing is in between that, the Senate's working on these Congressional Review Act amendments, which are repealing Obamacare regulations. The but point then, being, Tucker, is we are executing our plan exactly as we had planned it. We're going after Obama regulations. We're giving Donald Trump the people he needs to staff his government. And now we're on to Obamacare, repealing and replacing Obamacare. This is just phase one. Okay, Tom Price is out there working on here's phase what two. I understand. Here's phase what, three with, with comes respect, after that. I don't understand this. So this is the 115th Congress. I think you've been in session for less than half of that time. So in April, we checked. The House is in session for eight days in April. There's a lot to do. Nothing meaningful really has been. When you could say, I went to a bill signing about coal, but there's a lot of stuff that hasn't been done that he promised and it hasn't made its way through Congress. Not all your fault, obviously. But eight days is not a lot of time to be working in an entire month. Why? Actually, we're, we're, we're producing a lot here. I'm very excited about it. Actually, the, the real why is because how long it takes to pass things through the Senate. So we typically do like a 100-day plan, as you've heard these 100 days. I went sat down with Mitch McConnell, and we looked at the fact that they have to populate the Trump government with their employees, with their cabinet secretaries and assistant secretaries. And we made this a 200-day plan because we know the Democrats are doing everything to string out the clock, to, to delay and stall. And there are certain rules that they can use in the Senate to do that. So we have a 200-day plan. But in the House, are they the reason you. you're only there for eight days in, in April? What is the no, reason it's just, for that? There's, there's, that? We want to talk to our constituents. We want to go listen to our but constituents. But we have a new, a new administration that can't get anything through the Congress. Shouldn't you put all that on a hold no, and just say, no, we're going to get this done? Eight days is not a lot, right? We're, we're, uh, I, I don't know off the top of my head if that's a correct stat or I not. I think that's correct. Okay, well, I'll just, I'll just take your, your word for it. The point is, we're piling up so many things in the Senate that they, they, they're, they're still working on getting these people approved. So let me just give you a sense of what we're planning for the first 200 days. Repealing and replacing Obamacare, the biggest title reform in a generation. Okay. Overhauling the IRS tax code, rebuilding the military, doing infrastructure, repealing harmful regulations, repealing Dodd-Frank and, and the Choice Act, which would replace it. All of those things, all of those things we're planning on doing in just in 2017. What you know about, how exciting this is for us? What about the funding way, the wall? Is that, are you going to, that's, you, that's part of, you that's part do of that? this too. That's part of our appropriations process. Okay. All right. Yeah. Thanks. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I appreciate your no, coming on. You've got These a lot to do. Thank yeah, you very you much. Bet.